Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. How are you, ladies? Fatima, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. How was your day? Um, good. Very good. That's great. That's great. So happy to hear it. <laughs> Tell me, what have you done? Okay. Uh, mm, the same usual. The same as usual. Pero mañana es el último día que vamos a trabajar. De ahí vamos a salir de vacaciones toda la semana. Oh, for real? Yes. That's so cool. Yes. Okay, okay. And how was your day? Tell me something new. What time did you get home? I get home at 5.15. At 5.15? Well, that's early. Yeah. Did you have dinner already? Yes. Okay, what did you have for dinner? Uh, huevos revueltos, no sé cómo se diría. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, cheese, beans, and tortilla, and coffee. Cheese, beans, tortilla, and coffee. Okay, yeah. that's good. Cool. That's excellent, that's excellent. So glad to hear it. Que me alegro oírlo. Gracias. So you had a good, good, good dinner, right? Yes. That's excellent. That's excellent. And that's so very, very nice. Well, that's good. Ready for the class, right? Yes. That's so good, that's so good. I'm so glad that you are ready. Well, Miss, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, Tisha. Thanks to you.
Ok, let's see who else is around, who else is around. Veamos quién más anda por aquí. Karen, Patricia, hello, good evening. Karen. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What about, hey, Jaime, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you, mister? I am a little, little, I get a flu. I got the flu. I got the flu. Yes. Really? Well, what can está, we do, right? Okay, está no, comenzando. Oh. <laughs> creo, creo que una de las compañeras que andaba mal ayer me lo pasó. You just got it. Yeah. Pobre compañera. Uh, <laughs> Sonia creo que fue. That's so bad. That's so bad. <clears throat> well, what can we do, my friend? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer, mi amigo? Yeah. I mean, and with this weather, it's very special, right? Con este clima está súper especial, ¿no? Sí, se agarra de todo. <clears throat> Pero <Vamos>. así toca. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, what can we do, right? ¿Qué vamos Lo a escucho hacer? bien lejos, teacher. I am so sorry. Can you hear me now better? Yes. Okay. Thank you. What can we do, right? That's the way it goes. Así nos toca. Yeah. Yeah. Así toca. <clears throat> And your classmate here got you the flu just by, you know, through the signal. By the modem. <laughs> yeah. It's the modem. Okay, Model. okay, okay. Well, hi, man. Nice having you here as usual, my friend. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Ana Consuelo, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How's everything? How how you doing? ¿Qué tal todo? Good. Good? No news? Yes. No hay novedades? What time did you get home? Mm, no. What time did you get home? Tell me, tell me. ¿A qué horas llegó a casa? Oh. Uh, 5.30. I got home at 5.30. I got home at 5.30. I got home at 5.30. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Thank you. And tell me, did you have dinner already? Yes or no? No. No yet? No. <laughs> so, right after the class? Yes. Okay, okay, well, that's good. I mean, it's good, it's good, it's good. 
Miss, nice having you here and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Next one. Monica, Liliana, Ocotan. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, very good. Very good. That's nice. How was Pero your day? No me diga nada. I'm sorry. Ya cambié la palabra para que no me diga que solo me quedo con soso. -so. Yeah, you always tell me so, 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 so. No, but you're not sick today. I'm happy. That's good. You are not sick. Hoy no está enferma. That's good. <laughs> yeah, because no, you, and, you and your allergies. Say sus alergias. You suffer. Herencia, teacher. Yeah. What can we do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? I understand you totally. Yo le entiendo. My son is allergic. <laughs> so it's a big problem. And tell me, what time did you get home, Monica? Um, 5.30. 30? Yes. Okay. Did you have dinner? No. No yet? What time do you have dinner? At what time, at what time do mm -hmm. you have dinner? ¿A qué hora llegué a la casa? No, have me dinner. Me ah, ya me he ah. perdido. <laughs> <clears throat> um, la verdad no tengo hora. After the class or... Or just whenever you're in the mood. Después de la clase o cuando se le antoja. Ajá, ya se le When I am in the mood. ¿Y eso es? When I am in the mood. I am in my mood. When I am. When I am. In the mood. In the mood. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Monica, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. To you. Roxana, Roxana Ramirez, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, dear, how are you? Uh, fine, fine. A um, little heavy, but relaxed and my home. At home. At home. Pensé decirle eso y me arrepentí. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> well, well, well. What time did you get home? ¿Qué hora llegó a casa? Um, five ten. At five ten. At five ten. Oh, mm. early. Now, what about you? Have you had dinner yet? Ya se no. Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. What was there for dinner? Que hubo, que hubo. Tell me, tell me. I, I made, made es verdad. Yeah. I made tin and beef, 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 beef. Beef, okay. Beef and tortilla. Okay, cool. And coffee. Oh, that's and nice. With cream. Oh, that's even better. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Aún me lo estoy tomando. Yeah. Man, that's nice. Me too. I got my cup of coffee right here. Yeah. Cup of coffee is mandatory. Yeah. Ah, the only bad thing is that it's dying. Dos. Yeah. Minimo dos, dice. Ah, yeah, I have one right now, one after the class for dinner and sometimes one before going to sleep mm. but today I haven't drank too many Hoy no he tomado muchos, just four 
Because I have a toothache. He andado con un dolor de muela. Uh, and coffee is no good for that. Okay, well, nice Teacher. having you here. Yes, Roxana, tell me. Eh, vamos a tener vacación. What's that? ¿Qué es eso? Free day. Free day me. What's that? I don't know that word. What language are you speaking? In case ay, you're Roxana. <laughs> ay, 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 está muy buena. Yeah. No, pues sí, yo pensé que también ahí iba a haber vacación. Okay. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> so don't think about vacation. Think about practicing English. That's what's yeah. important right now, not vacation. Ahí, ahí estoy queriendo prenderme los, los verbos. Yeah, yeah. And asking for a vacation? Yeah. That's a big hey. no-no. Okay, Roxana, welcome. Nice having you here. Thanks, teacher. Walter Reyes. Hello, mister. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. I'm just fine. fine. You know, same old story as usual. How was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Very good. Uh, in my work. Uh, always uh, routines. The same routine. But, uh, but, uh, bueno, cuando vine a casa, I went to my mom uh, to check my niece's vehicle. Vehicle? Vehicle. Uh, oh. Because it did uh, not turn off. What? It didn't turn off? Uh, but I fixed it. No quería entender. Oh, it didn't want to start. Este un día de esto lo llevamos a revisión y y en ese lugar con con le hicieron un chequeo general. Yeah. Le, le dejaron el porno en la batería. Ah, oh, luz. Yeah. Luz, <laughs> flojo. Ah, luz, luz. Hoy lo utilizó y, 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 y me llamó que, que, que se lo fuera a ver porque ya no, ya no le defendió. Ok, ok. Pero, I pero se le soluciona el problema. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good, that's good. Yeah, good thing is that you were able to help. Lo bueno es que usted pudo ayudar. Más o menos, ahí me defiendo. Ah, yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, I mean. That's the way it goes, as it toca. I mean, when you got a car, you have to learn on the way. Al tener uno un vehículo, hay que aprender en el camino. Eso sí. Yeah, I mean, believe siempre, me. Yeah. Siempre, I siempre se, se aprende cosas nuevas, así como en la vida. Yeah, I understand. Cada día aprendemos you. algo nuevo. Totally. Lo entiendo completamente. I mean, I have had situations like that. The other day, uh, 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 a friend was driving. Um, uh, well, the thing is this. Here we got like, we live uh, very close. Vivimos muy cerca with the in-laws and everybody. And so sometimes, I mean, we take each other cars. A veces tomamos el vehículo del otro when it's necessary, I mean emergency or something. So we have to be like to understand what's going on with all of them. Hay que saber cómo anda cada uno. It's fun. Sí, it's fun, si, it's fun. Si el viaje va a ser largo. Yeah, yeah. The one that they don't like is the, the, the pickup. El que no le gusta es el pickup. It's more uncomfortable. Es más incómodo. Es así, es así. Yo he tenido pita, pero a mí me ha fascinado. Oh, yeah. No, they are cool. They don't like the pickup and they don't like my, my, my. Oh, I got a, I got a, 
a little one. Tengo uno pequeñito. A, 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 a Volkswagen. A Gol. Ah, well. Yeah. The engine is 1.0. Un motor 1.0. Yeah, that thing, the engine is like this. Very small. I save a lot in gas. Me ahorro mucho super. en gas. Sí, super económico. Yeah. You know, the other, the other day I went to, 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 to La Costa with $12. El otro día fue La Costa con $12. Ah, está bien. Yeah, five, aquí, and five people in the car. La verdad. Yeah. That thing saves money a lot. Sí, sí, cosa. está bien. Sí, le, le ha salido bueno, entonces. Tiene fuerza. Yeah, but no, nobody likes it because it's like old, no le gusta por viejo, no air conditioner, eh, got many things. Le da de todo, but it never stops, pero no se queda. Eso es lo bueno. Yeah. Eso no se queda, o no, o no que salieron buenos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Walter, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Hello, a tell me. You... <laughs> tell me, Catherine. What time did you get home? ¿Qué hora llego a casa? I get home. I at... got, I got, because it's in past. Uy, perdón. <laughs> I got home. Era tú o at? At? <laughs> at, fine. Okay, okay. At five. Mm, not like the other day. No como el otro día que se fue de pinta. That's cool. <laughs> Cuando me fui de pinta. <laughs> the other day you got home at six. El otro día llegó a las seis, ¿no? No. Mm. Siempre llego a las cinco. Mm. O oh, cinco y cinco. <laughs> no. no me mire así. <laughs> we'll try to believe you. Le creeremos. Trataremos de creerle. <laughs> Es la verdad. Ok, ok. What do you usually do when you get home? ¿Qué acostumbra hacer al llegar a casa? Mm. Would you mind telling me what do you do? Te lo voy a hacer en español porque en inglés no, no puedo. Let's try in English. On, ¿Me Katia. deja buscar el traductor? No. Entonces, Use dígame... as much English as possible. Vamos a utilizar lo más que pueda el inglés, ok? Ya fracasé. And in the other words, I'm going to help you. Y en las otras palabritas, yo le ayudo. But let's try to use as much as possible. Vamos a usar lo más que podamos, ¿ok? Ok. Ya me olvido todo. <laughs> ok. What's the first thing you do? ¿Qué es lo primero que haces? Mm, cuando llego, me acuesto. Ok. Un ratito. How do you say that in English? ¿Cómo decimos eso? Acostarse. Hmm. Mm. There are two options. Do you take a nap or do you just rest? Rest. Okay. When I get home, I rest. When I get, get home, get home, I, I rest. rest. Okay. I rest. Perfect. Then, then, uh, cooking. Okay. Then I prepare dinner. Oh, then I prepare dinner. dinner. Okay, dinner. cool, cool. Then? Then? You have dinner? Yep. Okay, then I have my dinner. I, I me lo escribe todo ahí para anotarlo yo. Then I have my dinner. Repeat, come on, come <laughs> on. Then I have uh, uh, ¿cómo, cómo era? My dinner. My dinner. Okay, cool. Now tell me, what did you have for dinner? Today, today, what did you have for dinner? A fried chicken. Okay, cool. What's your yeah. favorite part of the chicken? Your um, favorite part, the one that you enjoy. <laughs> Pechuga, no, ¿cómo es eso? Oh, oh, oh. That's chicken breast. 
Does chicken breast? Breast, chicken breast. Breast. Sí, como busto. Sí. Yeah, Solo chicken. carnita. Yeah, yeah, chicken breast. No, actually, you know, that's my favorite part of the chicken also. Well, not my favorite. That's the only one I eat. <laughs> I just eat chicken breast and that's it. I don't like legs. I don't like wings. I just like chicken breast. Ni las piernas. No, I don't like legs. Not... Just chicken breast. That's it. Igual que mi hermano, usted. Con tu marioso. Picky, picky. That word is picky. Picky. Yeah. The word is picky. I am not picky. The word. Okay. The word is picky. Picky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice conversation, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. I... Me el favor de escribirme. No way, Jose. We are going to learn it first by practicing every day. Todos los días la vamos a practicar. So you can memorize it. Then con we are Stanley, going to write it. Con Stanley practico ahí en la empresa. Luego lo vamos a, 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 a escribir. Pero no podemos. Ah, oh, come on. Yes, you can. But you need to do it here also. Pero necesitas hacerlo acá también. Thank you, Catherine. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Sandra, hello, Sandra. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Sandra. Give me one second. I forgot. I was so excited talking with Walter, then with Catherine. I forgot the attendance. Let me get it. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angelica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Thank you, mister. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present, teacher. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present, teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present, teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomar Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Man, I don't know how hot is in your house, guys, but this is terrible today. Hello, hello. I'm sweating. Sandra, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Sandra. You open your mic, you open yes, your mic, you got to talk to me. Abre el micrófono, le toca. Hello, how are you? How was your day? How are you? I'm, I'm fine. sweating, sweating as a pig. <clears throat> you know, I feel bad, but not just for me. I feel bad also for Jaime. I see Jaime like this all night. Jaime is like suffering with the heat. What about you? How's the weather in your house? ¿Qué tal está el clima por ahí, Sandra? Caliente. Where do you live? ¿Dónde es que usted vive? Mm, I live Zacatecoluca. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. You are sweating too. También está horrible, I imagine. 
Yeah, yeah. You can tell Jaime is like this. Like Ruth is also like like doing like going like this. Man, it's terrible. I got a fan right here on my back. It's one meter from me. Yo tengo un ventilador a un metro. And man, I'm suffering. Like for real, suffering. But what can we do? ¿Qué se le va a hacer, no? So tell me, Sandra, how's everything? Besides the weather. ¿Qué tal todo? Aparte todo del clima. Good. Good. Okay, cool. A lot of work. A lot of work. Eh. But it's Wednesday, you know. I will, I remember once I was talking. I don't remember if it was this group or another group. But I was telling your classmates that for me, when it's Wednesday, I feel like everything is downhill. Yo siento que pasando el miércoles, it's the week is over. Se acabó la semana. Rápido. Yeah, but the hardest, I mean, for me, the hardest day is this. Mondays are hard for everyone. Los lunes son malos para todo el mundo, right? But Wednesdays for me are like long days. Lo siento largos. Hold on. I'm sorry. Ouch. Wednesdays I always feel them like very long. Siempre lo siento. It's particularly long. Super largos. And let's see. And it's funny, you know. Y es divertido because I never stop working. I work from, from Monday to Sunday. Y es divertido porque yo trabajo domingo a domingo. I mean, I never stop. No descansa. No, but I feel like after, I mean, I feel like Saturday and Sunday, I don't feel them that hard. No lo siento tan difíciles. I just teach classes, the classes, presential, but adults, pero con adultos. So it's not like, like... During weekdays, no es como los días de semana, that I also work with kids, que también me toca con adolescentes. Man, that's terrible. Teenagers are hard. Adolescentes are like, uh. Tell me, do you have kids? ¿Usted tiene niños? Yes. How many? One. How old? One. Is, is a he or a she? Boy or girl? <coughs> Boy. Okay. A boy. Perfect. Tell me, how old is he? How old? I am 43 years old. How old is your son? Yes. Yes. yes, he is. Uh, she is. He, he, a boy. He, he. He is five. Oh, little yes. kid. Man, just wait. Solo espérese. <laughs> well, well, I don't know here the your classmate, but when they are teenagers, I mean, well, they are expensive. Salen caros los varones. And when they are teenagers, man, they eat everything. Eso es more than todo. I mean, they yes. come in like... Like if they are, as if they are refugees, como que fueran refugiados. Everything that is around gets eaten. Todo lo que queda mal puesto, se lo tragan. I got one and man, this boy eats. Yo tengo uno y come. El mío también. Escucho lo que estaba hablando. Yeah, it's... Estaba repitiendo. Oh, cool. Eh, but it's nice. Five years old. So he's at school already. He goes to school by la escuela. Yes. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Second year, right? Su segundo año, no? Sí. Okay. Segundo. That's excellent. That's excellent. Well, good luck, my dear. Buena suerte. Yes. Kinder Cinco. <laughs> Thank you. Let's hope everything goes okay. Thank you, Sandra. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Ruth, what about you? <clears throat> Ruth Benitez, hello. 
Hi, teacher. Hello, Ruth. Tell me, how many kids do you have? ¿Cuántos niños tienen? Five, six. ¿Cuántos niños? Yes. ¿Tú? Five or six. Just two. Ah, come on. Two. <laughs> sí, hasta mucho. Por eso comparto. Esos tragan todo. <laughs> Los sí. dos son abuelos. <laughs> Both are boys. Both are boys. Ambos. Sí. Yes. Both. Yes. Ambos. Ooh, that's heavy. How old are they? ¿Cuántos años tienen? 18. 18? Eh, yes. Ooh. En... En... 13. 13. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 13. You always need to have food around. Siempre hay que tener comida en la mano. If not, they're going to bite you. Si no, lo muerden a uno. Eh, eh, el siguiente día va a ser en la, la refri. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, they don't wait. Eso no guardan. Me dejan yeah. buscando refresco, galleta. Eh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand you. You feel like if you work just for food, no trabaja solo para com que coman. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. But it, they are cool. I mean, Tienes, a mí me agradan por ratos. ¿no? Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's cool, it's cool. Okay, and what about you, your day? Tell me. Uh, very good. Yeah, happy. Okay. Thinking in vacation. Oh, come on. You are just like Monica. <laughs> thinking about vacation. Or like Roxana. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it's cool, it's cool. But, you know, vacations, oh, I spend too much money. Mucho gasta uno. Ay, eso sí. Yeah, on vacations, peor. yeah, you are home, you want a little something, you go to the store, va uno a la tienda. I mean, and you gain on weight, you know, menta de peso, man, that's terrible. <laughs> Solo, este, a cookie paso, teacher. Oh, really? En la cocina. Yeah. Cocinando, pues sí. Well, that's good for the ones that eat. Es bueno para los que comen. Sí, yeah. yeah. Here in my house, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's funny, you know. They are finishing breakfast and thinking about lunch. Aquí están terminando el desayuno pensando en el almuerzo. Deciding what's going to be there for lunch. It's crazy. Yeah. They are at lunch. I mean, they just finished lunch and they are they start thinking about like a little snack. Comienzan a pensar del postrecillo, like four, como de las cuatro. Yeah, yeah, man. The good thing is that here they love uh, baking. Acá les gusta hornear. So they prepare a little something. Oh, qué rico. No, you spend more money. Me sale más barato ir a comprar. <laughs> Ah, oh, bueno, eso sí. Yeah, but it's a good experience. And, and I mean, it's an activity that they enjoy. Es una actividad que disfrutan. You know, here in my house, we I was telling your classmates last module, we go 50-50. Acá nos repartimos el trabajo, 50-50. They cook, I eat. <laughs> I help, I do my part. Ah, bueno, I, pues dale bien. Yeah, yeah, I do my part all the time. Ruth, nice talking to you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Carla Beatriz Garcia de la O. Man, that's a long name. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, I'm fine, thank you. How was the day for you? Um, my dad, my day was fine. Only uh, my legs are poor. Oh, really? What happened? Yes. Mama. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? Um, working. Oh, really? Mucho trabajo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How old are you, Carla? ¿Cómo? How old are you? I am 43 years old. How old are you? Sí. <laughs> Ese día no me recuerdo cómo <laughs> significa. Oh, okay, okay. You don't Tengo remember. mala memoria. Okay, 
I am 43 years old. Yo tengo 43. How ah, old are you? Yes. Mm. 29. Oh, come <laughs> on. You are young. You are 29, young. How many kids do you have? ¿Cuántos chicos tiene? Mm, ninguno. No kids. Ah, oh, come on, Carla. ¿En serio? Yeah, that's why. There's no reason to complain. No. There's Todavía no estoy reason. chiquita, pero. Yeah, there's no reason to complain. <laughs> well, no comments. Ahí sí no opino. <laughs> There's no yeah. reason to complain. No hay razón pa quejarse. 29, no. no kids, everything's happiness. Todo es belleza. Yes. I mean, having kids is cool. Tener chicos es nice, but it's a different life. Es una vida totally different. Mm, okay. Sí. Es parte del matrimonio. Yeah, supongo. yeah. And you get like, I guess, well, not necessarily, you know, I have, I have a couple of friends, tengo varios amigos that, uh, I mean, they are like 40, 45, and as a couple, they decided no kids, como pareja decidieron no hijos. Um... Yeah, and I mean, and they are fine. I mean, it's, it's a decision that they take. Actually, here in our country is not that common. Acá en nuestro país no es muy común, but in other countries, yeah, a lot of people say, stay like that. Muchas parejas, des, they decide not to have kids and they're like, cool. Uh, a los 35, tal vez me animo. <laughs> Ooh, well, there's a little thing there. Ahí sí hay un detalle. I mean, <laughs> the older you get, it's more complex. Es un poquito es más, más complicado. Yeah, for you ladies, para ustedes. But, you know, my sister-in-law, sí. she... She has a baby, he's one year, tiene un niño de un año, and she's 40, tiene 40. I mean, oh. yeah, it's just that you have to be careful. Hay que tener mucho cuidado. Yeah, well, I make fun of her. Sí, yo no, divierto, sí, eso sí. Yo me divierto. No, pero yo con mi problema de tiroides me, me oh. ha <laughs> No, I make fun of her because I tell her that the baby is going to tell... At school, yo me divierto, la molesto, le digo que el bebé es going to tell. At school, no, that's my grandma. Yo le digo que el niño va a decir, no, es mi abuela. <laughs> Mamá y abuela, yo solo. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's just, la it's madre. different, you know. Good things, bad things, it's, it's different. Every situation is different. Like in my case, my son is 21. Mi hijo tiene 21. Sí. And I mean... It's almost, almost, ya casi, ya casi. I almost kick him out, ya casi lo corro. Nah, but he's in his fourth year at the university. Está en su cuarto año, so I'm like, yo hago cuenta de two years, dos años más, and I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, free. Me consideraré libre. <laughs> yeah, it's... And in school, she will de tell them she is my grandmother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, Carla, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Nah, thanks to you. Let's see who's been... Robert Beltran, you're here. I haven't seen you. Where are you, my friend? Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I was having the dinner. I was having... Some oh, pupusas. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I know yeah. that you love food. I was super busy, you know. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. Having pupusas. Wow. You like them? How? Yeah, I love have pupusas. How frequently can you eat pupusas during a week? In a week, like three or four times per week, maybe, because I love it so much. Okay. I like yeah. a lot from sapupusas even when I, uh, when I, when I am working, I like to eat in the breakfast, maybe at lunch. 
Okay. It doesn't matter the oh, time okay. or the yeah. weather. Yeah, you you really love them. You really I love, love them. I got you, it. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You have to know something. My mother know how to make pupusas. So you know, he's he's selling pupusas. Well, it's fun. You know, it's funny. My mama yeah. also. My mama she prepares pupusas. She prepares pasteles, empanadas. I mean, tamales atole and everything corn stuff todo lo que de maíz uh, and but i don't like them pero a mí nunca me gusta <laughs> i understand you you always say that you love cup of coffee anytime anywhere you just need that yeah 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 but I mean, no, no, for real. In my house and here, here where I live, they love pupusas exactly like you do. I mean, they can eat pupusas for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and they are cool. They're happy. Yeah, I feel cool. In my case, I, I couldn't have cafe or coffee because I have a, a, a stomach Stomachache. disease. I have oh, I have really? a stomach disease and I have to go I have to go and I have to go because I have an appointment at the social security institute you know and I have yeah. to go the next month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a problem. You know, suppo I'm mistake. not supposed to eat to drink coffee because I also got I have a gastritis. I have a yeah, that's right. I have a chronic I have, gastritis. I have, yeah, that's I have. Yeah, and I'm not supposed to ha to drink coffee, but you know, I have a gastritis since I was like seven years old. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> you you don't take care about it. Well, yeah, once in a while they make a, they make some tests. They they run. Okay. okay. Yeah, and let me let me text you. So once in a while they run some test. Okay. This expression, esta expresión quiere decir eh, me hacen unos exámenes. They okay. run some tests. I'm talking about Yo, physical exams. It's in another uh, expression. I have heard that, uh, like in, for example. Yeah, my friend runs very well the English, and it's in another way. Yeah, yeah. In this case, they run uh, some tests. It's like uh, me realizan unos exámenes. Or okay, me toman it's unos in exámenes. another way, in yeah. another context. Yeah, they run some tests. Like I mean, ah, I hate one of them. I don't know audio. They <laughs> they sometimes perform an endoscopy. Man, that thing is horrible. Wow. Yeah, they. They get a they get a tube all down my throat, yeah, my esophagus, and they start like know with a camera to... looking around. Endoscopia, uh -huh, yeah, that's really. I I feel scared about that because they gonna make me that. Oh, don't worry. Usually they they do it with anesthesia. Normalmente lo hacen con anesthesia. <laughs> but that is the most that I feel. It's scared oh, no, because no, that... no, that's that's local anesthesia. That's ah, don't worry, that's easy. I mean, look, believe me, take the anesthesia. Créame. Take the anesthesia. <laughs> I have undergo, I have ooh, okay, ooh, okay. Ooh, hold on, undergo. another phrase. Okay, okay, I have undergo, undergo. Me sometido. I have undergo oh, wow, wow, wow. that procedure. I have undergo that procedure without anesthesia. Yo me lo he hecho sin anesthesia. Man, that's wow. horrible. That I, 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 I imagine, I figure that. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, no, I have I have taken it without anesthesia, and believe me, that's a whole different enchilada, my friend. If teacher, if he did, you can breathe when they 
Oh, yeah. Would you that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they just get you. They put a sprite like to 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 numb, to numb. Eh, le ponen un sprite para adormecer, to numb. Okay, no. Your throw. And then a little yeah, thing here sure. that you bite. You bite a little thingy. <laughs> Uno muerde una cancioncita. They put you in a, in a supine position. In a supine position. Lo ponen en posición fetal. And you don't, you don't have to move. No, no tiene que moverse. Okay. And, and they start like getting that thing in. And they start like throw, showing that. Shoving. They start shoving that down your uh, throat. Yeah. Wow. It's beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Hey, no. I feel I feel fear about that, man. <laughs> but I, I I'm gonna trust in you. Yeah, take take that thing. Believe me. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to you. Uh, pleasure is always mine. Okay, guys. Now, let me explain something to you. Let me explicarles algo. If you notice, today I have spent a long time talking with you guys like this. Si se han dado cuenta, he estado hablando mucho con ustedes. And if you notice, today we are going to start something different. I need you. I need you using more English. Los necesito utilizando más inglés. Okay. Because some of you are like, uh, we have gotten like, like used to, to, to go back to Spanish. When we find, when we face a difficulty, we always turn back to Spanish. Cuando nos enfrentamos a una dificultad, Regresamos al español. But we need to, 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 we need to use more English. Necesitamos utilizar más inglés. So I'm going to be pushing you. Lo voy a comenzar a presionar. I'm so sorry, my apologies, but I'm going to be a little bit pushy. Me disculpas, pero voy a estar un poquito más pushy. Because I want you to speak English. That's why you are here. Para eso estamos aquí, ¿no? So, let's forget about Spanish. I know that for some of you it's going to be like, eh. Yo sé que para algunos de ustedes va a ser complicado, but believe me. It's going to be okay. Let's see, guys. Let me see. Let me see. Vamos a ver. Let's go, let's start, let's start. Vamos a comenzar. Okay. Here we go. Okay, just one second. Okay, we have here 
a very interesting expression. We have could and would you mind? Okay, now, what's the difference? Look, could you call me later? You could ask also, would you call me later? Would you mind calling me later? Okay, now, let me explain something before. Before we jump right into it, let me explain something. We are going to get into something that we call requesting, okay? Vamos a meter a lo que son request. What is a request? Una petición. Okay. Un requerimiento. Okay. Now, when I tell you, eh, hey, Jaime, could you text me after the class? He goes like, yeah, sure. Él dice, yeah. sí, está bien. I'm asking here, podría. Okay. Now, listen to this. Hey, Jaime. Would you mind texting me after the class? It's a different type of request. It's also a request. Es siempre una petición. But listen, what I'm telling him is exactly this. ¿Le molestaría escribirme after the class? So, those are two very different situations. In the first one, if you notice, it's kind of uh, more, more informal, right? If I tell him, hey, could you tell me, could you text me after the class? And he goes like, yeah, sure, no problem. But when I tell him, when I tell him, would you mind texting me after the class? The situation changed. Even the, the tone of voice, okay? It's more formal. Es más formal. And also more polite. Okay? Y también es más amable. It's, there's a difference if I ask him, hey, Jaime, can you text me after the class? In this case, I'm not requesting him to, to text me. Si utilizo el can, es distinto. Why? Because then I'm not requesting. Entonces no le estoy pidiendo. I am asking if he's available. Estoy preguntando si le es posible. Okay? Si él está disponible. Right? If I ask you, Jaime, can you text me after the class? He goes like, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Oh, he can go like, oh, no, I, I won't have time. No tendré tiempo. If I tell him, hey, could you text me after the class? I'm asking him. I am requesting him. En este caso le estoy pidiendo. Because I need it. Porque lo necesito. Like, uh, uh, imagine that Catherine's co-worker, imagínese que un compañero de Catherine, ask her, le pregunta, Catherine, can we go to the movies on the weekend? They say, hey, podemos ir al cine el fin de semana? And she goes like, ah, no, I'm going to be busy. I have to go to church. Y ella dice, no, voy a estar ocupada. Voy para la iglesia. Okay? But what about if the guys comes and ask her, hey, Catherine, could we go to the movies on the weekend? Oh, then he, it's a more, it's a different level. En este caso distinto, es una invitación directa. Okay? So, those are, when we are talking about modal verbs, cuando estamos hablando de los modal, it's very interesting because they express possibilities in this case, but at a different level, en un nivel distinto. You see? Or in a different context. Like, could you, it's more informal. Would you mind? It's a little bit more formal, okay? Now, something very interesting is this. If you notice, let's go back to the first example. Veamos si se acuerda. Vamos al primer ejemplo. Jaime, could you text me after the class? Listen, could you text me after the class? The verb text is in the base form. El verbo text quedó en su forma base. Now, look at, listen to the next one. Jaime, would you mind texting me? 
the verb text in ing form. El verbo text en ing. In both cases, it's understood the same way. En ambos casos se entiende igual. Escribir. Ok. Could you text me? Would you mind texting me? You see the difference? ¿Ven la diferencia? So. Ok. Before we go back. Wow. Believe it or not, time's running. Let me get the second attendance. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Present. David Armando Romero Hernández. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. Jaime Enrique Flores. No, 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 Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Okay, guys, let's see. So, we were here. Now, as I was telling you, look at it. Teacher, teacher, yes. excuse me, I am confused. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, I, I varias, varias palabras donde dice puede, podría. Yep. Pero me he confundido con el can, con el may, y el, el could. Ok. Please. El can es una muy informal. Okay. El can usted lo utiliza con un amigo muy cercano, lo utiliza con un, con un familiar, un compañero de trabajo quizás. Yeah. Could and would you mind son más polite, más amables. Yes. Okay. Now, here it depends on with whom you are talking to. Acá depende con quién está hablando. And if you want your expression to be more polite, it depends si usted va a ser más amable. I mean, yeah. imagine that you are talking with the new employees. Usted está hablando con los nuevos empleados, that you gotta train, que usted va a entrenar. So, yeah. you, with them, you try to be polite. Usted trata de ser lo más amable posible, ¿no? So, you can use, could you? Or you can use, would you mind? O podría utilizar, would you mind? ¿Le importaría? I mean, it depends. In this case, it depends. You could use, could you? If you want them to feel at ease, si quiere que se sientan más cómodos, quizás utilice usted could you. Yeah. Ok. Hace que se sientan más en ambiente, más tranquilos. Would you mind is more formal. 
Mas mas fino. Yes. Yeah. And But you use would you mind if you are talking perhaps uh with your boss, puede ser que se está hablando con el jefe, or perhaps with an employee, o quizás con un empleado que esté a nuestro cargo, but you want to be polite, pero usted quiere ser amable. Yeah. So, yes. that's when you use would you mind. No sé si, si le aclaré. Sí. Eh, eh, la, la, el, el can y el, el cool y el would. And may. Ok. May. Another request. Está haciendo también una petición. May I help you? ¿Le puedo ayudar? The difference is this. ¿Ok? When you use may, you are offering. Uh, Cuando usted utiliza el may, usted está ofreciendo. When you use could cool, or would you mind, you are requesting. Está pidiendo. You see the yeah. difference? Yes, yes. I may help you. Yo le puedo ayudar. It's also used to, también se utiliza para hacer una petición, like in the case of, uh, pero está pidiendo igual un permiso, o está dando o pidiendo un permiso, like, may I go to the bathroom? Yeah. Para pedir un permiso, yes, you use may, usted utiliza el may. Para dar un permiso, yes, you may. Claro, haga. In this case, mm. with could, could you, and would you mind, esa expresión exacta, could you, y would you mind, en yes, este caso, right. the answers are not necessary, yes, you could, yes, you would. The answers are uh, the action, quizás el hacer la acción, or something like, yes, sure, like right away, in this moment, sure, no problem. Those are the answers. Esas son las respuestas. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is it clear now? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, guys. Let's look at it and tell me. If you got any other question, tell me. Si surge alguna otra pregunta, tell me, okay? So, look at the examples. Could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Right away. Could you contact the tech support? No problem. You see? So, we start a request, una petición, with could you follow, but the base form of the main verb plus any complete phrase. In this case, the base form. Encierra en un círculo, marque esto. The base form. Okay? Now, When we use would you mind, if you notice, in this case, we are going to use the ing form. Okay? We're using the ing form. Would you mind calling? Would you mind getting? Would you mind sending? You see? We are using always the ing. Right? Look. ING. In this case, again, ING. Look, calling, getting, sending. And in this case, if you notice, we are using the verb in the base form, call, make, contact. With could, we are using with could you, because the expression is could you. The expression is all this, right? With could you, we use the verb in the main form, in the base form. With would you mind, we use the verb in the ing form. Is it clear, guys? Si nos estamos entendiendo? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. You see the answer? Sure, right away. No problem. In a minute. Okay. So, let's move on. Let's see, guys. I need you. I will send you to working groups. 
and I want you as a group to tell me three requests you usually do or receive in your company. Me van a contar, van a decidir con sus compañeros three requests that you usually do or receive, okay? Que ustedes hacen o reciben in the company using would you mind or could you, okay? So that means that it's going to be one per person. Quiere decir que uno por persona. So it's going to be fast. Okay, guys, let's jump in. Teacher. Yes, miss. Fíjese que yo estaba ocupando mi teléfono para hacer la, la clase, yeah. pero se me trabó y no puedo ni salir ni acceder al pequeño grupo. Ok, hold on. I'll send you to another one. Le envío. Uh -huh. Ahí está ya. Hello, teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, yo sinceramente, ah. sí le, 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 le capté el ejemplo y todo eso, pero el ejercicio sí me está costando. A ver, usted nunca entenderlo. le pide nada a nadie en el trabajo. ¿Qué? Sí. sí. Por ejemplo, mm. le decimos al mecánico que llegue y usted le dice, hey, 
Could you check my machine? Podría revisar mi máquina. Sí. Simple, ¿no? Así de simple. Sí, teacher, pero lo que queremos es saber que según el ejercicio vamos a crear una oración, vamos one a completar. Per, yes, one per person, una cada una. Ah. Una, una de con y una de wood. No, one, uh, one each of you, una cada una de ustedes. Just three sentences, solo tres oraciones. De, de cualquiera de las dos opciones. Yes. Ah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Importaría casi, ¿no? Would you mind? Would, Would you mind? mind? Teacher, este, yes. ¿nos puede volver a explicar, por favor? I want one sentence per person. Quiero una oración por persona. Oh, okay. About a request that you do in your company. Acerca de una petición que usted realiza en su compañía. Una de cada uno por cada, por una con el Just culo. Just three y una sentences con el... per group. Solo tres oraciones por grupo. Con el culo, con el wall. Yeah, up to okay. you. Ahí usted decide. Ok. Ah, ok. Mm. Por Monday. Ya lo tiene cada una vez. Ya, ya lo tengo. Sí, ya lo hice. Ya lo hice. Bueno. Put your hand me with that report for Monday. También está Could you help me with a personal permit? Un permiso personal. Uh -huh. mm. Could you? Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Podría. Uh -huh. Está solicitando. Uh -huh. Could you help me a report for Monday? ¿Cómo le quedó con la suya? Con la, la segunda. Sí. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you send. Ah, en, en ese send le faltó el mi. Will you send me? Oh. Para que lo para que lo agreguen ahí. ¿Cómo? Oh. Will you send me? Porque usted le está pidiendo que me, me envíe. Send me. Ajá. ¿Así? Ajá, correct. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Uh, oh, si se, bueno, si se refiere a la hoja de especificaciones, le falta introducción. Es, specification de introducción. De introducción o of introduction. Ok, entiendo. Of introduction. Of introduction. Uh -huh. Solo así nomás, porque ahí, ahí ya, ya, va, ya va contemplado el estilo. Of introduction de my style. 
no, 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 no le, no le pone my style. No, no, no solo. Could you send me 10 copies the specification of introduction, please? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Ahí está. Estamos ready. Ana María. Ana María, ya lo Estamos ready. Yo capo. Hey guys, 60 seconds, let's come back. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's go fast. Uh, I'll say your name and you tell me one of your uh, your sentence, okay? Let's start. Robert, Beltran, you start. Tell me. Okay. Could you give me a permit the next week, please? A permission. Uh, I put the permission, but in another way, put permit. No, but in this case, it's permission. A permit is a, a yes, it's a permission, oh. but you are requesting for a paper. Okay. A permission is is the the. Lo que pasa es que cuando usted pide un permit, está pidiendo un vale, un papel que le que le autoriza hacer algo. Okay. Permission, that's, you are asking for the that's space. I mean. I mean that because my supervisor have to give me that permit for okay. get out the, the for get out the plant for getting out for getting, uh -huh, for getting out. out the plant okay perfect thank you okay let's see robert guzman hola hello yes your sentence okay let me uh the Could you help me to finish my work? Could okay. you hear money for your job? And would like to go to the beach? Perfect, thank you. Now let's see, Jaime, one of your sentences, please. Would you count the dozen, please? Okay. Thank you. Roxana. Hello, teacher. Sentence. Robert la dijo todo. Robert. Okay. 
thank you. Yeah, it was just one, Roberto. Okay, <laughs> Fatima Laura. Oh, okay. Sorry. Would you mean lending? Would you mind? Would you mind lending me your pencil? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Well done, Karen Castillo. Hello. Uh, could you help me with the machine? Perfect. And would you mean? Would you mind? You may helping me with the cleaning. Okay, excellent. Uh, Walter Reyes. Would you call your supervisor, please? Okay, otra, thank you. Otra sería, would you mean sending all would the... You mind? All, would ah, you mind? Would you mind sending all the, all the production floor? Perfect, thank you. Eh, Karen Patricia Ramírez. Yes, teacher. <laughs> and could you pass me work? Okay, and, will, and will you mind bringing me a job? Okay, excellent. Sonia Guadalupe. Yes, teacher. Your sentence, Could please. you send me 10 copies of the specification <clears throat> of introduction, please? Perfect. Sandra Alvarado. Or you learn my your pencil. And would, would you mean lending would you mind? Would you mind lending my your pencil? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Jose Edwin. Could you bring me Joe, please? Excellent. Catherine. Would you mind cleaning me up this time? Uy. Would you Uf. mind cleaning up? Huh? Me? Up? Okay, this? that means you, your person, your body. Eso quiere decir usted, su persona, su cuerpo. Mm. Would you mind cleaning <laughs> up? Cleaning up. Keep cleaning me. up. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Ana Maria. Yes, teacher. Tenía apagado el micrófono. Cool. Could you check the machine? Okay. Brenda Diaz. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Next activity. Now we are going to do something a little bit different okay i always give you questions right like uh, i always give you question and ask you to ask each other now i'm gonna give you two questions and i want you to create a short conversation okay a short conversation Me doy dos preguntas. Uh, you can choose just one Pueden escoger solo una, but i need you to create a small conversation okay so I'm going to send you to the groups and you're going to use the information there. The, co the questions are, what goals do you have in your life? Or is it important to set goals? Those are the questions. Okay, groups are open.
Pero en una conversación. En una conversación por sabe. Ajá. Que nos preguntemos a cada uno y que cada quien responda lo uh -huh. que quiere su meta y la opinión si es importante o no ¿verdad? Uh -huh. y ahí hacemos el diálogo ok ah uh, my goal yo diría my goal goal is is to learn to learn Uh, English to what to una de mis metas es dominar el idioma ajá mi My... meta es aprender inglés uh, to 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 find uh, a new job porque quiero un nuevo trabajo o su escalar en el que ya tengo ajá o Also, ascender, ¿verdad? Sí. Ascender, quiero ver cómo se dice ascender. Ahí, lo, ahí le puedo preguntar ya a uno de ustedes y me lo dicen, ¿verdad? También, para hacerlo ya de conversación mejor de un solo. Ajá, vaya. Digamos oh. que yo le pregunto a usted, what goal do you have in, in your life? Ajá, sí. Roberto y a usted me responde luego me pregunta yo le respondo luego le, le puede preguntar a otra y así y las demás se perdieron fueron para el bosque aquí estoy Bye. Bueno, entonces ¿quién me preguntaría primero? No, no sé. ¿quién habló Karen? O... <ríe> que no me puedo su nombre. Roxana Roxana Ok, sería usted y ya después yo le contesto, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, y yo le puedo preguntar ahora a, a quién, a, a Brenda. Sí. Ok. Uh, Brenda, what? Goals. Espérame, que no, no, no le he escrito todavía. Ok, no, pero yo lo voy a escribir para ya no olvidarme. Ah. My God. Is. Tenemos más metas, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita la meta que está, la fija que tenemos ahorita es esa. Sí, sí, sí. La corto plazo. Sí. La corto de aquí que aprendamos. No siento Pero que se está Sí, sí, sí. Hmm. Ya. Sí. Vaya, contésteme cuál es su meta. Para así traducirla, si es que no lo sé traducir. Vaya. Ya, ya respondió la dos. La, vaya, primero me pregunta Roxana. Sí. Después le contesto yo. Y le pregunto a Brenda. Okay. Y usted me contesta, Brenda. Yes, espérame. La segunda, la segunda pregunta. Esa la diría usted, este, Roxana. It is important to set goal. goal. Uh -huh. Para así incluirnos los tres. Uh -huh. Ajá. Vale, dígame, Brenda. Goals. Goals. Vale. La primera le digo yo. Ajá, usted me pregunta. Robert, what words do you have in your life? Ok. Uh, my goal is to learn English to find a new job or also ascend to or ascender también. Okay. Uh, what goal do you have in your life? 
um, Roxana. Ano, Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. My work is to finish my study. Espérame, espérame. My goal is to finish también, ¿verdad? Eso quiero decir con tú. Sí. Ajá. Ah, is to finish my study. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí Solo esto. Sí. Yes. Eh, y la segunda. Ah, ahí sería, pregúntele a... Roxana. Ah, Roxana. A Roxana. Ajá. Roxana. Sería... Ajá, diga. It is it, it, it important to set goals. Ahorita, ahorita. Yes, to have direct, direction. Direction. Sí, para tener rumbo. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ajá, ¿cómo yes, to have direction. Así se dice, creo. Ajá, direction. Sí, yes, to have direction. Las escribimos en el chat. Yo les voy a mandar ahorita una, una foto. Factura. Ok. Solo eso va a contestar usted. Ay, y yo la, la otra es. Sí, Brenda. Sí, it pero... is important to set goals. What is the meaning of focus? Uh, yes. Focus. Enfocarse y achieve. Sí, y lograrlo. Ah. Yo esa question was solo una. Sí, pienso. Ok. Ok. El mío es este, ahorita lo pongo. Eh... Okay, guys, it's time. Let's come back. I hope you have practice. Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back.
Okay, let's see. Everybody's back. Conversation. Jose Edwin and Monica. Yes. Your conversation, please. Uh, we do teacher uh, only uh, only one question. Okay, I want to hear you. Quiero oírlos. Is it important to set goals? Uh, I think that it's important because the goals are motivation to move forward. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, Ana Maria, Jaime, and Sonia, what you got for me? Hello, Sonia. Hello, Jaime. What goal do you have in your life? My goal is to learn English to improve my work area. Okay, okay. And it is is important to set goals. Yes, is it important to be clear about the ob ob objective? Okay, perfect. Ana Maria. Okay, Ana Maria. Hello, hello. Oh. What goal do you have in your life, Ana Maria? See you, my, my son, as a professional and be able to drive it with my family. Oh, perfect. Is it important to set goals? Yes, it is very important because the, they help us to improve our Okay, perfect. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, Ana Maria. Thank you, guys. Thank Excellent. You. Karen Patricia, Sandra Alvarado, Walter Reyes, what you got for me? Teacher, nosotros lo hicimos así, cada uno separado. Okay, tell me your answers, Walter. Okay. Uh, yes, sir, hicimos esa. What goals do you have in your life? I have goals, but one is learning to speak English and I make a future and talk. Uh, to different people, no to general no lecture. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Sandra. What you got for me? Uh, I'm very cha. I very challenging wise because I want to learn to speak English. Okay, ah, that's not that challenging. You just did. Don't worry. Excellent. Karen okay. Patricia. Okay, let's see. Brenda Díaz, Roberto Guzmán, and Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hello, Robert. Okay, yes. What, Robert, what goals do you have in your life? Life. My, goal, life. my goal is to learn English to find a new job or also ascending to. Uh, Brenda, what, what goal do you have in your life? My goal is to finish my study. Robert, 
it okay. is important to set goals? Yes, it's very important because I can see be uh, available. Oh, Anna, what, yeah. what goals do you have in your life? My goals is to learn English as much as possible. As possible. And Brenda, it is important to set goals? Very important. To head a new goal. Okay, thanks. Perfect. Job, job. 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 Okay, guys, let's see. Robert Beltran and Catherine. Okay. Uh, we have to make a conversation or you just need the answers? How do you work it? Como lo trabajaron? Uh, just the we answers. just made the, just the answers. Okay, tell me the answers to both questions. Your answers. Okay, my answer is about the first question. What goals do I have in my life? Uh, to be a good person. Uh, I would like to help to people homeless. Uh, homeless never people. give to homeless people. And uh, never give up at all. To see my son succeed. Uh, to improve my English, that is very important for me. And the next one is to achieve my goals in generally, just like that. And the next question, it is important to set goals for me. Okay. Uh, absolutely and completely the truth, because that is what we need to keep it moving. So that is just my question my answer i don't need to say any more okay perfect thank you uh catherine okay what goals do you have in my life i would like to have my own cafeteria and also learn to make ceramic craft also be able to learn English. The next question, it is important to set goals? Yes, it is the important, they help you focus and have a direction to follow. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you. Fátima, Gabriela, and Xiomara. Uh, solo Gabriela y yo estuvimos, teacher. Okay, perfect. Hicimos una pequeña conversación. Hi, Gabriela. How are you? Hi, Fátima. I'm fine. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, Fatima, of course, tell me. What goals do you have in your life? A study at university and work on it, be a good professional. But um, by my card. Yeah. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. And let's see. Now I got uh, Ana Consuelo, Karen, and Ruth. Nosotros estamos la junta. Junta Santiago. 
How did you do it? ¿Cómo lo hicieron? Wow. Okay, tell me your answers, Ana Consuelo. What food do you have in your life? An important goal hmm. in my life is to start my new degree in psychology and get to the end of the degree. But my first goal is to learn to speak English well to be able to enter the university. This is important to say call. This is very important to say call in life because they will be like a member when they to be able to meet them. Okay, perfect. Hey, boy. Let's do it. Uh, what goals do you have in your life? Uh, some of my goals is to help my children a good study and finish my English course. Uh, is it important to set goals? If it is important to set goals to have a borrow future. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Who was missing? Que me faltó? Yo, teacher. Perfect. Sí. What goal do you have in your life? My goals are to help my son to complete has degree as an system engineer and I finish English and, and continue preparing my myself professionally. Okay, perfect. Excellent and thank you guys. Well it was a very good activity. I hope you enjoy it and it's very important for us to practice and to apply the vocabulary in different contexts. Remember that always we need to apply it in different contexts. That's the objective of these activities for you to, to use it, okay? To put it into practice and to talk about different topics. It's very good when you ask and answer and we are going to continue working, creating conversations, okay? That's something very important that we need to do. Try to create conversations as much as possible. Okay, guys, let's see. Is there any topic about the, the is there any question? I'm sorry, about the topics we have just discussed? No? Okay, well. I'm going to get the attendance. It doesn't mean that we have finished, but let me get the final attendance. Okay. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Amor. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Presente. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. 
Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Okay, thank you, Ruth. Well, guys, uh, well, it's almost over. Let me check. I'm just checking the platform. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. I still have some of you that we need to work a little bit more. Tengo algunos que todavía no me han iniciado the platform. If you have any problem accessing to the platform, let me know. Uh, almost all of you have worked in the section one. Section two, the midterm exam. Many of you are missing. Tengo varios que me les falta el midterm exam. Guys, remember, we need to work on that. It's very important. And remember, it's actually the midterm exam is a big, a big chunk of your final grade. Es una parte grande de su nota final. So we need to advance on it. Let's see what else. Let me check. Déjame solo revisar. Okay, okay. It's just a few. Solamente son unos pocos, but we need to finish it, guys, because it's a lot of work. Hey, guys, thank you very much. Bye. Really appreciate it. And, well, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good, good night. night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye, David. Bye, Catherine. Selwyn. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. ¿Se acuerda la, la pregunta que, que, que le hice anoche? It was about. Era de. Eh, está en la lección número 17. Ok. Ok. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Un segundo. We are talking about section 4. Right? Estamos en la sección 4, then. Okay, number 17. Bye. Bye-bye, Sandra. Okay, what is the problem in that one? Tell me. Eh, en la, en la, en la en literal 4, este, donde está el Oh, bien? there's a little mistake. Write uh -huh. you. Escríbale también el sujeto, you, at the beginning, okay. with capital, ah, con inicial okay. mayúscula. Okay. That's all. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Have a good night. Uh, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hoy oh, sí, ya la comprobé. Excelente. Perfect, perfect. Sí, la veo. Sí, yo. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hello, hello, Brenda. 
Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just fine, just fine. You know, same old story as usual. Ok, Brenda. Dígame, cuénteme. ¿Cómo vamos? Uh, ahí echándole ganas, teacher. Is there any topic that is giving you problems? ¿Hay algún temita ahí que me le está dando que hacer? Sí, fíjese que estaba viendo en, eh, eh, en la tarea 7. No le he podido completar porque no sé cómo es que tendría que, este, porque ahí es de escribirlo. Ok, hold on. Tarea 7. We are talking about ta, 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 section 2, right? Vamos a la sección 2. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's very simple in this one. Lo único que usted tiene que agregarle es el auxiliar, el das o el do. El das o el do. Yeah, something like this, look. Uh, algo así, mire. Like in the first one, you got what this machine and do. What does this machine do? Okay. What does this machine do? Um... And in some of them, like in the last one, you use do. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like, uh, 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 where do you eat lunch? You see? That's the only thing that you need to add. Es lo único que le va a ir agregando. Do or does. Does or do. Ok. Este, ya tendríamos que ir por cuál este, tarea, teacher. Uh, al final de la sección 2 y el midterm exam que está cuando usted termina la sección 2, eh, le va a dar paso para el midterm. O sea que usted tiene que ir ya terminando la sección 10 y después de esa, le da siguiente, le va a aparecer el midterm. Esa consta de cuatro partes, pero son cortas. Sí, yes. Eso es todo. Okay, Hasta ahí vamos. Sí, yes. eh, sí, por el momento creo que sí, solamente eso. Ok, perfect, perfect. My pleasure. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Yes, good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night.